When you move into a new house, you can never be quite sure what the previous owners have left behind. Sometimes it might be many years until you discover all of the secret nooks and crannies. And one of the most common places where strange objects are hidden is down in the cellar. Get ready for mysteries, horrors, the macabre, and the downright bizarre as we take a look at the 15 scariest things found in basements. <sighs> Number 15. Old House in London London's full of houses that date back hundreds of years, so new owners often find things in their homes that have been left gathering dust for ages. One of the strangest finds happened in 1960, though, when a mansion owned by Thomas Theodore Marilyn was set for demolition, having lain empty for quite some time. When the owners were looking through to make sure it was ready to be torn down, they couldn't believe what they found in the basement. There were a series of wooden boxes from Marilyn's collection, as he was a famous explorer and crypto-naturalist, and had spent his life collecting strange and bizarre specimens, most of which were still in the house. There were many specimens of taxidermied dragons, young werewolves, vampire artifacts, and the remains of experiments that had been conducted by fringe scientists. My name is Alex Yef, and I'm the curator and custodian of the Marilyn Cryptid Collection. There was such a treasure trove of objects that there's now a museum dedicated to his memory where you can still go to see everything for yourself. It's a place where, if you're skeptical about the idea of cryptids and legendary creatures, you'll almost certainly leave a believer. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. Six-Foot Gator Basements are some of the most secluded and secret parts of a home, so it makes sense that if you were going to have something that you shouldn't keep in your house, then that's where you'd keep it. But remember not to let anyone go down there unless you want your secret to be exposed. A mechanic in Michigan was called out to a property to perform some repair work on the building's electrical circuits in the basement. But when he got down there, he was in for a surprise. The owner was using the room as a place to keep his pet alligator, which he kept illegally for almost 20 years. It was kept in inhumane conditions inside a steel cage. Go ahead and take him and put, yep, put him right down on the ground. And while the mechanic wasn't in any immediate danger, he felt for the poor creature. He took some photos as evidence on his phone, and after he had finished the job, he sent them to local authorities, who soon turned up and freed the gator. As for the owner, he was prosecuted for being in possession of an illegal pet, and now has to allow spot checks on his basement just to be sure that he's not doing it again. Number 13. Lost Grandfather There are, unfortunately, hundreds of thousands of missing people's reports every year. And in a lot of these cases, the family never finds out what happened to their loved ones. Had they run away, been a victim of a horrible crime, or simply passed away in a place where no one will ever find them. There are so many possible answers, but the not knowing is probably the worst part about it. In 1961, a loving father vanished from his family's home, leaving his wife and two sons to fend for themselves. The sons grew up feeling abandoned by their pops, and this took a heavy toll on their ability to form relationships as they reached adulthood. Their mother died in 1998, never knowing what had happened to the love of her life. But the mystery was finally solved a few years later on Halloween night. The brothers were in their family home, looking for decorations in the basement, when they came across some human remains. The father hadn't left the home at all, and had been the victim of an instantly fatal accident that, because the family never had any reason to go down there, they never found out about. Number 12. Guns and Money 
Moving home can be one of the most stressful things that we ever do. There's so much to think about, from legal contracts to surveyors, but the one thing you assume will happen is that the previous owners will take all of their stuff with them, especially everything of value. When one prospective owner was looking around a property that was on the market for a bargain price, he saw that the basement was full of junk and had just presumed it would all be gone by the time he moved in. He couldn't have been more wrong though, and on moving day, he found there was even more stuff there than when he had seen it just a few weeks prior. He then began the unenviable job of cleaning it all away, but in the process, he noticed a strange plywood panel in one corner. He needed to know what it was covering, so pulled it back, and to his surprise, he found a small room that contained a number of gun cases, huge amounts of ammo, and a small safe. It turned out that this was a pepperer stash, because there were hundreds of pre-1980s pennies that are used by people preparing for the apocalypse because they're made from pure copper. As of yet, he hasn't been able to open the safe because it's so sturdy. But you've got to wonder, with all the guns, money, and ammunition lying around, what would the owner have deemed important enough to lock away? Number 11. Moved into a new apartment when you're renting an apartment, you usually don't go to the same lengths to check it out as you would if you were buying it. After all, if things don't work out, you can always move somewhere else. And this means that new tenants are often surprised by the added extras that they didn't realize were a part of the contract. In 2019, an Irish student moved to England to begin his studies and thought he had found himself a bargain with the place he was able to move into. It had all the mod cons you would expect, but as he looked around, he noticed something odd. There seemed to be walls where he thought there'd be space, and then he realized why. On the floor was a panel which, when he opened it, revealed a network of tunnels and rooms that hadn't been decorated for decades. It seemed to be his own personal basement dungeon, perhaps a place where people would have secretly prayed in times when that was illegal. Let's explore the room underneath the neighbor's living room. Or perhaps somewhere to conduct ritual sacrifices. Worryingly, there was some graffiti on one of the walls, which suggested people had been down there recently. The the question was, is there another entrance which would mean they could easily access the apartment? Or was the hatch he found the only way in and out of the horrifying secret rooms? Number 10. Underground City in 1963, a Turkish man in the city of Cappadocia was doing some renovation works in his basement when he made what would become one of the region's most important archaeological discoveries ever. He realized that one of the walls had a false panel, and when he broke through it, he found himself in a strange network of tunnels. This turned out to be the long-lost underground city of Derinkuyu, a place that had been built more than 1,400 years ago, and had enough room inside for as many as 20,000 people. It is thought to have been created during the Byzantine era to protect the community from wars and natural disasters. With numerous floors which reached up to 200 feet beneath the surface, this city had everything it needed to be fully self-sufficient, and was built in a way that it could be sealed off from the outside world by a series of carefully placed boulders. It's thought to have been a refuge for people escaping hostilities at the time, and is one of a number of other such cities in the surrounding area. Derinkuyu is currently the largest known of these structures, and amazingly, is connected to some of the others by underground tunnels that that stretch for miles in each direction. Number 9. Mysterious Well Basements quite often have small doors and coverings that lead to pipes or electrical circuits, but have you ever fully investigated all of them? One homeowner was extremely curious when he moved into his new property because the previous resident appeared to have constructed a bookshelf on wheels that had been left in the center of the main room in the basement. When he moved it out of the way, he revealed a trap door with two cement blocks on it. Right there, you can see another one. 
he carefully removed them and opened the hatch. And to his surprise, he found a concrete well that was full of water. More mysteriously, there were no pipes leading to it, and no obvious way that the water was getting in there. Which begs the question, what was it for? The man admits that he never actually went into the well to see how deep it went, or what was at the bottom. And he has since long sold the house, having filled the mysterious hole with cement to make sure it posed no risk to the foundations to the property and to allow a full redevelopment of the underground space. If you had a well like this in your home, what would you use it for? Number 8. Shark Tank in 2017, police officers in LaGrangeville, New York, made a particularly gruesome discovery when they were searching a property for evidence of a completely unrelated crime. When they walked down into the basement, they immediately felt the increased humidity in the air, which, it turned out, was the result of there being a 15-foot diameter pool in there. But this wasn't a recreational structure, it was the homeowner's makeshift shark tank. Inside were seven live sandbar sharks, as well as three dead sharks, two leopard sharks, and one hammerhead. They were all between two and four feet long, which means the pool was nowhere big enough to support all of them, and investigations were soon launched to find out how the man had been able to accrue the animals without anyone knowing about it. The sandbar sharks were carefully removed and sent to the Long Island Aquarium, where they could be checked by vets and be incorporated into the displays there where they would be looked after properly. While blood tests were taken from the corpses to see if they could shed any light as to where they had come from and what had happened to them. Number 7. Skeletons in the Basement the recognizable blue shade of IKEA bags can be seen in garages and basements all around the world as handy storage receptacles. But a Swedish woman was dismayed to find what they were being used for at the Klackberga Church in 2014. She had gone down into the ancient building's basement and found several of them that were full to the brim with human remains. She immediately alerted local authorities, and while an exploration as to how this happened was soon found, it doesn't make it right. A few years previously, archaeologists were brought in to excavate the tombs beneath the church, but the work was suddenly halted, with as many as 80 people's remains still in the process of being packed up to be taken away. There was anger in the local community for the disrespect that had been shown to members of the parish, but it seemed to have been the result of an innocent mistake. The skeletons were all around 500 years old, and the intent had originally been to rebury them somewhere else, something that was finally done after they had been discovered again. Number 6. Snake Basement what would be the worst animal you could find in your basement? Most people would immediately think of spiders, but for one family, their darkest fears came true when snakes began appearing from beneath their house. At first, the daughter found what she thought was a belt, but when she reached down to pick it up, it started moving. After that, as the week went on, more and more started wriggling up to the main house in search of food, and it was clear something unusual was going on. Exterminators were brought in and managed to remove three fully grown serpents, but with so much junk in the room, it was more than likely there were many more. It's thought that a pregnant snake must have sought refuge in there over the winter and laid her eggs, which hatched took advantage of rodents and other morsels of food in there for several weeks, and only began to emerge when they were beginning to starve. It's proof that no matter how little you use some of the rooms in your house, you should always check and clean them regularly just to make sure something like this doesn't happen. Number 5. A World War II German Panzer Tank the Second World War was fought in so many regions across Europe that unexploded bombs, human remains, and pieces of memorabilia are often found during construction works. Furthermore, those who fought in the war often took things home with them like ammunition and gas masks and stored them away just in case they needed them again. One German resident in Heikendorf, however, took this hoarding to a whole new level. Thanks to a tip-off to investigators who were looking for missing Nazi artworks and gold, it was discovered that among a few guns, he had a torpedo, an anti-aircraft gun, and 
Most surprisingly, a Panzer tank. Authorities quickly acted to remove everything from the property, and it took a team of 20 army personnel nine hours to remove the tank from the basement, as it no longer had its tracks and had to be lifted onto a truck. According to the 78-year-old's legal team, none of the weapons were still functioning. But this didn't absolve him of any repercussions, and investigations began into whether he was guilty of any crimes. Number 4. Bear Cub Not all basements are fully underground, and some have ground-level windows that allow some light to come through. Sometimes, however, they let more than the sun's rays into the room, and a family in Minnesota learned this the hard way. They heard some growling coming from downstairs, so tentatively walked down the steps to see what was causing it. They thought it might be a cat or a rabbit that had found its way into there, since there were often lots of them in the grounds around the house, and were preparing for how to deal with it. But when they got there, they were stunned to find a small black bear cub. He had fallen through a crack in the window, and in his panic had knocked lots of paints and coffee cans onto the floor. The family took quite some time to chase around and capture him before being able to release him back into the wild, and the first job on the list for when they had freed him was to properly secure the window so it could never happen again. Number 3. House of Snakes Buying a house is one of the most expensive purchases we ever make in our lives, and so much effort goes into it that you expect that when you finally move in, you'll know exactly what to expect. In 2017, a single mom from Minnesota and her kids had been saving up her whole life to be able to afford her dream home, and it was finally time to sign the contract. Once the money was exchanged, she was given the keys, and it was time to unpack. But within an hour, it became clear that there was something not quite right about the townhouse. In the bedroom, she found a small snake, then another, and then another. And in a few months after moving in, a total of 95 have been removed from inside the home, and hundreds more have been outside. The problem seemed to stem from the basement, where there's now no room to move because of all the snake traps that have been put in there. And it's thought that somewhere nearby there must be a snake garter nest, which was not all too surprising because the property was so close to marshland. The family have since spent more than $20,000 to try and rectify the problem, but every time time the warm weather returns, so do the snakes. Number 2. Stalker in the Basement It might be frightening enough to think there could be a wasp's nest, snakes, or thousands of spiders in your basement. But there's one thing that trumps all of these. What if you were to go down there and find a person you didn't know living in there? Well, that's what happened to this girl in 2019. For a while, there had been noises coming from the room, but she was too scared to investigate it herself. She therefore enlisted the help of her friends to go down there with her, and the result was terrifying. They found that not only was it someone not known to her, but it was someone who had been taking a liking to her and was stalking her every moment of every day. He had only moved in after she had begun living at the property, and had she not found out about it, who knows what would have happened. Needless to say, the authorities were called to remove him, and a restraining order was granted to prohibit him from getting anywhere close to her ever again. But if you went through this yourself, surely the next step would be to move into a home that simply didn't have a basement in the first place. Number 1. Hidden Chapel in 2010, the Farla family from Shropshire in the UK were celebrating over Easter weekend when they finally decided to investigate a metal grate that was on the floor by the entrance to the house. They had lived there for three years and always wondered what it was, so it was time to find out. The youngest daughter was small enough to squeeze through, and what she found was beyond belief. The Victorian house appeared to have what looked like a small chapel hidden beneath its foundations. There was a wooden cross in the center of the room and pews along the edges, which would suggest this was once an important place of worship. It was not so long ago that some religions were expressly banned in the country on punishment of death, so people were forced to build hidden rooms where they could safely practice their beliefs in peace. 
To make things even more surprising, they spotted some stairs at the end of the room and found that walking up them and breaking through a piece of cardboard that was in the way, they found themselves inside a cupboard that was in their dining room. Which of these would have frightened you the most if you had found them? Have you ever found something creepy in your own home? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!